What's up, YouTube? This is Damon, aka the world's worst magician, and today I'll be bringing you a look at the Magneto cards uh, by Hannes Koch um, and Card Shark. So, if you're not familiar with these, I'll leave a link in the description to where you can view uh, a theatrical trailer and some more information. But essentially, what they are is magnetic cards, as you may have guessed. Um, so, what comes in the box? It's going to be this card wallet, which holds uh, the cards the magnetic ones as well as the regular ones. And for regular cards, you're actually gonna receive six jokers, uh, one of which is magnetic, and then four queens, and one of those is magnetic. You're also gonna receive the DVD, a uh, maintenance kit, two standard Phoenix decks. Uh, if you're not familiar with the Phoenix deck, uh, I'll be dropping a review on those pretty soon here. And um, for the alignments, uh, basically the, the cards can only go in one configuration. So before I get into that, I just want to show you a quick demo here. So we have um, five cards, two queens, three jokers. And then what the magnetic cards allow you to do is if you just give them a squeeze, um, you can make it look like now you only have two cards. So uh, it does take a little bit of practice, a little bit of work. But when you go to show, now it looks like you only have two cards, uh, when in fact you do still have all those jokers. So um, what's magnetic here is these two cards. So as you can see here, uh, not holding them together. And the magnetic alignment only happens when the two faces are face up. So if you go at an angle, um, it doesn't work. See how it's just falling off there? Uh, same thing if you turn the cards over, um, it doesn't stick. So that could be used to, you know, hand it to a spectator or something like that. But uh, as you can see, they do stick. Uh, one thing I did want to point out, though, is so right now they are in correct alignment and you see that they're flush. If I turn this over and then try to align them correctly, uh, it actually jumps out. Now you can get it to jump a little closer than that. So let me make sure that I can focus for you. But you see this little lip. Um, so that lets you know that you are not in correct alignment, but I kind of didn't like that uh, because, you know, if, how do you know, right? A queen looks the same both ways. So if you're not in their correct alignment, the card's going to jump on you a little bit. So as always, um, that's kind of one of my negatives, but uh, let's start with the negatives. Uh, I guess the biggest one for me is just the cost per card. So uh, currently what I had to pay was $80 and you only receive two gimmick cards. So um, yes, you receive all this extra packaging and everything, but in my head, what I'm thinking is, okay, that's $40 a card. Um, now I did see a blurb where they said that they can only make four of these per hour, but uh, I still kind of would have liked to have received four of them. And then that would have been, you know, $80 per hour or whatever. Um, but, you know, one of the biggest gripes about only having two of the cards is they have different colored backs. So I w really would have liked it if I could have got two queens and two jokers and then have them with matching backs just for some different effects. Um, the <clears throat> So one of the biggest things that they point out is that um, the thickness is exactly the same as a regular playing card and uh, that is incorrect. So if you were to feel one of these regular Phoenix cards and feel this card, now when you try to examine them um, really from here you're not going to be able to see it. But in your hands, you can feel that it's thicker. So if you were to just hand this as a single card to somebody, you might be able to get away with it. Uh, but they said you can fool magicians. And I'm pretty sure if a magician held this card, uh, they would be able to feel that weight difference because it's a lot different than, you know, the standard playing card. Um, so is it examinable? Yes, but not in all circumstances. So, you know, just I'd be a little bit leery of handing them out or anything like that. So... Really, those are my only negatives is just the cost is the main thing because, uh, like I said, it's $80 and you only receive two gimmick cards. Um, but the positives are you can hide up to two cards uh, between these. So uh, as you saw kind of in my little demo there, um, you have two cards here. And so you see this is a blue back. This is a red back. And when you squeeze them together, now it looks like the queen has a red back. So you can hide two cards in there. Um, it does pretty well. Um, I have noticed that um, if you kind of try to manipulate it a little too much, uh, they so right there, uh, I don't know if you caught that, see, they're kind of getting out of sorts. So with two cards, I've found that, you know, when you're playing around with it, when you do that move like he does where he's kind of doing this, um, I find that they kind of get out of whack. It's a little easier if you only have one card in between them. Um, but you can do it. Uh, they have good instruction. 
Uh, one thing is that there's kind of a language barrier because the guy who invented this is Austrian and uh, the person doing the narration is German. So they speak English very well. But like during some of the tricks, um, the guy is speaking in Austrian and then the German guy is just like, oh, you want me to do this? Oh, you want me to do that? And it's just, it, I don't know, it, it's kind of a weird thing because, you know, there's a little bit of a language barrier there. Um, so you're not really getting the performance uh, side of things, but it's not that big a deal. But there is a slight thing there. Um, the chameleon routine, uh, if you watch in the trailer, I'm not good enough to do it just yet. But basically you can turn four jokers into four queens. And um, it's very smooth. Uh, it's very manageable and pretty easy to do, uh, even if you're a beginner magician. And um, so that that routine is it'll blow somebody's mind. I mean, if you walk up, do that. Um, the thing is, the cards are not examinable after you're done. So uh, you can hand out a couple of the queens, just not all of them, because one of the scenarios is going to be like this where you have two cards hidden. Um, so you can do it. Just be aware of that. And um, the magnetic cards, uh, another good thing is that they feel uh, like they're going to be durable. So it looks like they basically uh, split two cards and then put some sort of magnetic strips in between them and then put it back together. Uh, but so far, I've been handling these uh, for a little while now. And, you know, they still feel like they're going to hold up to uh, scrutiny and, um, you know, my handlings of the cards. So <clears throat> that feels pretty good. So overall, that's pretty much it. I mean, is it worth it? You know, I always leave that up to you. For me, uh, I was a little disappointed because, I, you know, in the routines, you see that they're using so many cards that I felt like I was going to get more. So, you know, to pay $80 and then get two magnetic cards was kind of a letdown for me. But, you know, that's just me personally. You you might feel different about it. Um, so, yeah, I would love it if they would provide four of these cards. I mean, that's still like $20 a card, but I think it's a little easier to, to manage that way. But, yeah, that's uh, pretty much everything that I have to say about it. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description to where you can check these out. And again, this has been your look at the Magneto cards. All right, see it. Well, I hope you liked that review. And if you have any questions, magic tricks, or decks that you want to see reviewed, go ahead and leave a comment down below, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. As always, I would greatly appreciate it if you would click that like button and subscribe for any future reviews. All right, see ya.